everyone welcome to my channel my name is Cheryl and today I'm back with another video so in today's video I'll be trying out a vitamin C turmeric and aloe vera face mask and I'll be trying out this product for five days but before we get into the video if you're new to my channel welcome my channel is all about skincare beauty and natural hair so if that kind of content interests you I really appreciate it because show support to my channel by subscribing also thank you to all my returning subscribers as well we have hit 40,000 subscribers on my channel and I actually can't believe it I am so grateful to each and every one of you but now let's get into the video so as I said before today I'll be trying out a vitamin C turmeric and aloe vera face mask and I was sent over this product by a company called Gleamin something that really drew me towards this product is the fact that this face mask actually contains products that I would make in a DIY face mask myself and I don't know what it is but I actually didn't think of putting turmeric and aloe in a face mask together when I saw this I was like what an awesome combination so this is actually a vitamin C clay mask and it contains turmeric and aloe vera I'm so excited to try this this is what the box looks like and I had a little bit of a read of the ingredients list I really love what they've put in there in the ingredients list it lists a lot of stuff that I use in my everyday use for my hair and for my skin so some of the ingredients on this list is Australian clay we have aloe vera juice we have castor oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, glycerin, turmeric powder of course, turmeric extract, ylang ylang oil and vitamin E oil and literally all of this stuff that I've just mentioned I use in my everyday life and if you're a subscriber to my channel and you regularly watch my videos you know that a lot of these products you see on my videos all the time so here is what the packaging of the actual face mask looks like and here is what it looks like inside and one thing that I've noticed when I opened it it really does smell like turmeric and I can really smell that ylang ylang oil which I personally love the smell they also provided a cute little brush to apply the mask on with so as I said before I plan to use this mask for five days I've also created my own DIY turmeric oil I have been using this since I used my original turmeric face mask it's really helpful at getting rid of hyperpigmentation and also it's awesome if you're using the turmeric face mask and this to moisturize your skin so if you want to know how I make this DIY turmeric oil I will leave the link up in the icons for you to watch after this one another thing about this mask is it's also supposed to be non-staining I know that when I did my own DIY turmeric mask that it did stain my skin and my nails quite a lot so I'm really excited to try this without the staining okay guys so now I'm going to show you what I'm working with and what my skin currently looks like okay guys so this is what my skin currently looks like and for those of you who are not a regular follower on my channel I suffer from eczema so I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation but a little bit of a closer inspection I have a little bit of a pimple here I'm not sure if the camera is actually picking it up so I've got my face mask here and my little applicator brush and I'm going to apply it on my face guys so I finished applying the mask to my face and I can really really smell the turmeric and the ylang ylang oil which I think is awesome because a lot of the time when I try products that say it's got this ingredient it's got that ingredient when I then try the product it doesn't spell anything like the natural ingredients that it has which I find kind of strange but with this I can actually smell the ingredients in it but when I tried out my natural homemade DIY face mask my face did slightly tingle yeah my face is tingling now which kind of lets me know that it's working and that it actually does have turmeric in it i'm gonna leave this for about 10 minutes to dry and then i'll be back to show you what it looks like hello guys i'm back it has been 10 minutes but the mask did actually dry before that i think that's because it's got clay in it so it does make it quite quick to dry which i really like so this is what my face currently looks like and as you can see it's fully dry all over so I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and then show you what my skin looks like I've just finished applying the mask and washing it off and I'm gonna give you a quick close-up of what my skin looks like now 
so this is what my skin looks like now it does feel incredibly soft and I really do like the fact that it didn't stain my face or my nails or my sink that's something I really do enjoy about this mask but now that my face is all clean I'm going to go ahead and moisturize with my DIY turmeric oil again I will leave the link up in the iCards for you to watch after this video so guys this is day one and my skin feels amazing really really soft and I will see you guys for day two bye Hello everyone, so this is day two of me trying out the aloe vera and turmeric vitamin C face mask and yesterday was my first impression and I must say I was impressed especially about the drying time because sometimes masks take way too long to dry but today I'll be giving you an update on my skin showing you what my skin looks like and then we'll be moving on to applying the mask again this is what my skin looks like today if you remember yesterday I did have a pimple here and as you can see it's still there but it's not as red and as angry as it was yesterday but one thing that I do notice a difference is that my skin is still really soft after trying the mask especially on my forehead area where I do normally have quite a bit of texture so yeah let me apply the mask and we'll go from there I'm back I just finished washing off the mask to wash my face I used black soap I have been using black soap for a couple of months now and it's been one of my favorite products but yeah about my skin it feels so 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 soft it's unbelievable I wish you guys could stick your hand through this camera and feel how soft my skin feels so the same as yesterday I'm going to use my DIY turmeric oil to moisturize my face so this is day two overall I'm quite happy with the results especially the smoothness of my skin I will see you guys tomorrow for day three bye hello everyone so this is day three of me trying out the face mask um don't mind me i've got my head scarf on because it's the evening time i'm getting ready for bed and i was literally this close to forgetting to try on the mask again as per usual i'm going to give you a quick update on my skin show you what it looks like okay so this is what my skin currently looks like as you can see I still have hyperpigmentation around my chin i'm really enjoying using this mask so far well yeah let's get on to applying it hello everyone so this is day four of me applying the mask on my face and today i felt a major difference in my skin texture my skin is so much smoother than it was on day one and i'm also starting to notice that my skin's looking a little bit brighter as well especially on my forehead and chin area my face kind of has like a natural glow which i'm really loving I really am considering using this mask for a little bit longer than five days if not then I definitely know that I will continue using it after the five days is up but maybe not for five days in a row I'll probably do it like once a week or twice a week but yeah this is what my skin looked after the mask on day four Hello guys so it is day five of me applying the turmeric and aloe face mask and that means we have come to the end of the five day trial I've really enjoyed my experience so right now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mask and come back with my pros and cons so this is what my skin looks like today this is what my forehead looks like and the rest of my face I couldn't really see my skin looking a lot brighter but I definitely can see that now my complexion looks a little bit brighter especially around my cheeks and my forehead area so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mask
Hi guys, so I just finished applying the mask and now I'm going to put on the turmeric oil. Now that the five days are up, I'm going to give you a little bit of pros and cons of using this face mask. So first, I will start with the cons. And honestly, I tried hard to find some, but I couldn't find any cons of using this mask. The only con that I could think of is that I wish they did have a little bit of a bigger container so that you could purchase more product. Take a look at their website and you can actually buy two. And when you buy two, you do get a little bit of a discount. But this is what mine looks like after five days of use. I can imagine if I use this for a full 30 days, it would be completely finished I was quite inexperienced in the beginning I was putting on lots but a little bit does go a long way with this product and I really didn't need to apply it so thick okay guys time for the pros number one is that it made my skin feel super super soft and that was one of my favorite things about this product I have a lot of texture on my skin especially on my forehead and on my chin area where I suffer from eczema the most but my cheek my forehead or my chin area feel so so soft I don't think I've ever found a product that makes my skin feel that soft my second pro is that it did brighten up my skin where I see that brightening the most is on my chin and forehead area it's kind of give my skin this really nice natural glow my third pro is that it doesn't stay in your skin even though it has turmeric in it i remember when i did do my diy turmeric face mask i had a lot of staining on my face my nails on my white table where i prepared the mask and in my sink as well but with this mask you don't have that at all and i think it's really awesome that you get the benefits of turmeric but without the staining another thing at the beginning of this video I forgot that I actually had a pimple right here on my lip but the mask worked so well that it went the next day and I completely forgot that I had a pimple. So guys, it has come to the end of my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you love skincare videos and natural hair videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.